Hello you guys, Abraxas here, and I'm going to be doing another part of Space Engine for today. Uh, currently I'm actually uploading part 6. Um, and I just wanted to go through and explore a little bit more, and also talk a little bit. Um, I'm kind of confused of what content I should actually upload to this channel. I do a lot of Space Engine stuff, but I would like to kind of mix it up a little bit and possibly like play other games. Uh, I did a Limbo Let's Play and like a few other games, but they don't have nearly as many views as my Space Engine videos. The Space Engine videos are definitely like where it's at view-wise. But I mean, like I said, I kind of want to mix it up. I don't want to just be like purely space videos. And I think I just found the center uh, star cluster. So let's go over to that star cluster. Yeah, I don't want to be limited to just that because I feel like that would just make things very boring and dry over time so sorry uh yeah I was thinking possibly just some obscure like ps1 games or whatever just kind of messing around with just other random games not nothing too like specific in the subject matter or anything like that uh I could be playing triple a games but to be honest it's just boring as hell uh, if anyone knows any cool space games like this that are like free and whatnot, I'll definitely check those out. And uh, yeah, that's just kind of something I wanted to mention. Is this the, is that the black hole? Is the black hole actually going to flicker? Let, let me hit play. I don't see anything flickering here. Let me speed up time a little bit too. I don't see anything standing out. Um, yeah, I only have like 60 subscribers. And one thing worth mentioning is I'm almost up to 1,500 views. So that is that is definitely awesome. And I definitely thank you guys for that. Um, where is this black hole? I don't want to just like skip straight to it. Where is it? It should pop in. It should be like right here. Are you the black hole? No. Let me zoom out. Okay, so that's the center right there. So maybe one of these two objects here? Nothing's loading in. Hmm. Okay, let me center the object. Oh wait, now I'm centering a star. Let me zoom out. Click on this cluster. Center the object. And if I zoom in, it should have the black hole centered, which is, I think it's just this dim object right here. Is it gonna load? Let me slow down. There it is. So I assume it's this yellow one here. Let me hit play and see if that's just flickering or not. Whatever. This one's not flickering like the uh, Milky Way. No, this one's definitely not flickering. It's a pretty big black hole. See all the stars like orbiting around it. So yeah, that's just some things I wanted to mention. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get come up with, like an upload schedule or anything fancy like that. I think it's just better that I uh, upload stuff at a frequency that I kind of want to. Like, I don't I don't really understand the point of scheduling everything. I guess it just sounds more for, like professional and stuff, but. Eh, how would I know? I just like recording videos and uploading them. Some days I'll have uh, four videos like yesterday, and some days I'll have none. <laughs> I feel like if I set a schedule, I'd just be forcing myself to do more work than, I don't know. I guess it's worth. Uh, it's not like I make money from this, really, so... 
but yeah, I just started uploading videos like more frequently and people are actually like commenting and following. So I just feel almost obligated to uh, just upload more content than uh, one video per every three months or something like that. So no, yeah, that's mostly just that. And there's the Milky Way's center and I turned up the magnitude again. So this is super dense with stars. And if I move around, I keep the motion blur for the stars off because I feel like that just really clutters the screen when I'm moving around. Let me turn that on just to show what I mean. Like this. I feel like this is kind of annoying. And I don't know how other people feel about that, but when I'm turning and stuff and I'm just seeing this, that kind of kind of bothers me a lot yeah everything has like a trail behind it. it makes it really hard to see objects that are moving and it's very abrupt too so even if I move a little bit like everything just gets a lot brighter I mean it's kind of cool when you're zooming through and you're seeing that but eh. I mean that's a cool effect but I don't think it's worth the random hitching that you get for, by leaving that on and I don't know I feel like it stops you from actually seeing what like is actually there save the stars don't make them so insignificant I guess so let's just uh, zoom out and explore a random galaxy I guess is it gonna brighten up there it is So let's see if we can find like a super large galaxy somewhere. What is this red one? Okay. RG0001272, which is one of these super large galaxies. Let's see how big its black hole is. Because these uh, massive ones apparently have super large black holes and this time I will just let it load in and not have it pop up like incredibly huge on my screen. Um, is it going to load? There it is. <laughs> oh man, these things are huge. Let me just pause the game. And let's see how big this one is. Let's click away and then click on this. Yeah, I really like these black holes because like you got the like this white background, so it really brings out like the detail in the accretion disk. I don't know, it just doesn't block out as many things. Like the one in Sagittarius A, like Sagittarius A, for example. It has like those dark rings around it and it really just makes it look like it's a sprite. This one actually looks a lot more like blended in, I guess. So I actually like these ones a lot more than the ones you find like in the center of disc galaxies and stuff. And the lensing is pretty powerful on this one. Let's see, where's the edge of the accretion disc? It's about right here. So the distance between me and the black hole right now is 2,293 astronomical units, which is not nearly as big as the one that was uh, in IC1101. So let's see if we can find another one of these type of galaxies. Okay, so zooming back and forth, we have some ancient galaxies over here in the background. They're red and they're not really moving all that much across my screen. So let's click this red one over here and zoom into it. Because if we're seeing it, no, that's actually not as bright as I thought it would be. Um, let me turn down the magnitude and see what I could actually find. Because if I turn this down, it should limit, limit it to really only like super bright objects. And if I move back and forth, So we have something over here. And something down here. Let's go to this one. That's not as far away as I thought it was. I don't know how I would actually browse for like a large galaxy in this case. What's this? 
What is this? Okay, I don't know why that was actually so bright. Oh, wait. Oh, that's just really bright for some reason? Why is it so bright? It's not all that big. That cluster next to it's bigger than the one that's in the center. Oh, past it. What's so special about this? I have no clue why this galaxy was so bright. It's still super bright. Is there really just like no consistency with these galaxies? Hmm. Uh, I actually have not actually flown around and browsed all the different galaxies all that much. All of real estate was pretty local to uh, the Milky Way, and we have something red back here. So let's go check this out. Okay, so this is one of those huge galaxies, which if I turn up the mag magnitude, default that, and turn it up, you can actually start to see the stars that are actually in this galaxy. I'm not going to do that, though. That's going to crash my game. So let's see if how big the accretion disk is in this galaxy. Okay, that one's pretty big, but none of these actually compare to the one that, uh, none of these actually compare to like IC1101. Hmm. I wonder if I should actually like search for them or something. Let's go to this bright one over here. Looking disk galaxy. Which I assume basically has all the same content as like the Milky Way. So if I just click on a star, I'm probably going to find like the same planets and stuff. This one only has four planets. Uh, we got a bunch of blue gas giants. Let's go over to this star over here. Yellow giant. And this one actually has a lot of different stars. Let's go over to this hot Oceania over here. Essentially, it's all the same content that you'd probably find inside the Milky Way. Uh, it doesn't really vary very much. I think it would be kind of cool if uh, you found like different compositions and stuff inside different galaxies or something. I don't know. Well, not really compositions, but like patterns, kind of. Like, as if each galaxy had, like, its own, I don't know, material, I guess. Like, primary composition for the entire galaxy. Like, the averages you would find. I don't know. Something, something just kind of mix it up. But, yeah. Uh, this one doesn't seem like it's going to be all that big. black holes are massive they're huge but i mean i see 11 on one not even on that level let's go ahead and go over to i see 11 on one real quick 
which is way over here. I'm flying through this galaxy way too fast. Where is that star cluster? There it is. Yeah, this thing's just ginormous. Like, <laughs> when you get over to the edge of the accretion disk, which is right here. Yeah, like right here. So this is like 1.4 light years, which means the accretion disk from one end to the other is 2.8 light years. So yeah, that's, that's huge. All the other ones were only like not even half the size of this. The ones I was just looking at. And this thing bends light for quite a while, like quite a ways. Like, yeah, that's that's spending a lot more light than all the other ones, too. Which gives it a really cool effect. I was already, sh I've already shown this off, though. I'm just wondering if the game actually it will, like, generate any bigger galaxies than this. Or is that, like, the uh, biggest galaxy the game's actually got? Because I assume... It's probably something to do with, like, the game. That, that thing's probably made by the developers directly. Not actually the game's uh, settings, I guess. So, I wouldn't really know. Oh. Well. <laughs> I guess that's the end of this video. My game crashed. I guess I was playing with the magnitude way too much. But uh, yeah, I guess if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos that hopefully don't involve crashing like this, please subscribe and I will see you guys next time.